welcome back to Beyond the Sprue, and before we get down to this week's releases, here's the question for this week. What jet is in the picture? Is it A, F-35 Lightning II, B, F-22 Raptor, or C, the Saab 39 Gripen? Answers at the end, as always. AFV Clubs M5182 5 ton dump truck is due for release very soon. It comes with four deco options and uh, for the Vietnam War. Uh, plastic injection tyres, front wheel steering, the truck dump bed is positional. Accurately reproduced chassis and suspension systems are based on studies of the actual vehicle. Uh, photo etch parts are included and looks like there's an Australian version as well. SS model have announced a new Pier Macomia 3 Sweden tank destroyer in 135 scale. This is a 3D printed product. In 172 scale dogfight workshops have announced a couple of new models of the US military trucks, uh, 6x6 and uh, GMC AFK WX353. Full 3D printings in 172 scale. Best Resin have announced a new 172 version of the Norinco VN172 inventory fighting vehicle. Also have some really good detail and include some photo etch. Modern manufacturers have announced a new 135 version of the Vomag Omnibus 7 or 660, which is a triple axle omnibus, which was developed in the mid 30s, originally as a bus, but then was transferred to the army for transportation of personnel it comes in a couple of different schemes and looks rather interesting for a diorama res kits keep coming out with new announcements and in development they have an mhu 83 bomb lift truck and this is going to be available in 132 148 and 172 scale Racing 43 have announced a new 143 scale of the renault clio maxi Dayak. And also a Skoda Fabia RS Rally 2, both 143 scales. SS models have announced a 1700 scale of the Capitani Romani, Italian class 1942 light cruiser with a full hull. This is a 3D printing product. In addition, they have also announced a 1 in 700 3D printing version of the 1916 Soviet Maria Queen Battleship. Mars Products are producing a new tooling for some British paratroopers set in World War II. Mars Figures are also producing some US Marines set in World War II over two different boxings, all in 172 scale. One box has 32 figures, one box has 40 figures, they both come with eight poses of figures in each box. And the detail looks good if the pictures are anything to go by. Paracel Miniatures have announced some new figures for dioramas in 135 scale. Figures include troops going down the river, uh, some Imperial Japanese engineers, a 1 in 16 VC lady, the same lady in 135 scale, some figures with some pack mules and horses. We also have a North Vietnam tank loading crew. Mini Art are producing a new 135 scale Panzer crew. Alpine Minches have announced their new tooling for 2024 of a 1 in 16, the Alamo Scout US Sixth Army. This figure comes with two different heads and looks to have some really good detail that no models will soon be taking reservations for their 172 scale short s16 scion 2 the kit will be put in two boxes representing the versions of the plymouth airport limited and the other one of palestine airways limited uh, both 1930s companies the kit is composed of fuselage wing and is made in resin. Clearport models have presented their version of the A2D1 Sky Shark, 
on their Facebook page they've posted some completed pictures of the model. The kit is in 148 scale and we'll test your skills they say and reward your efforts. It comes with 17 sprues, one of which is clear, a set of photo etch parts and two decal sheets. There's schemes for four different aircraft. Kinetic Models are proud to announce their first release for 2024. Bravo Viper F16B in the Royal Danish Air Force Viper scheme. A&A Models are glad to announce that they are about to release their 172 IL76MF transporter and due for release in April. The kit will come with 682 parts, including the fuselage and wings, and comes in four different schemes. It's in 172 scale. Armour Hobby's re-release of the highly successful Hurricane Mark II C from last year is coming out as a Sea Hurricane in three versions. The 835 Squadron, 825 Squadron and a Mark X Canadian built version for the 804 Squadron. Coming with 3D parts and with the arrestor hook section, pilot seat, harness, 20mm gun barrels and exhaust manifold all being 3D printed and are direct plastic parts replacements. Great Wall Hobby have put some more pictures of their new tooling of the A10C Thunderbolt 2, the close air support attack aircraft on their Facebook page. Coming with five different schemes, a large number of sprues, three sheets of decals and a specialized weight for the nose. This will be in 148 scale. The answer to what aircraft is in the picture is answer A, F-35 Lightning II. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.